One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A very good anytime zone, whenever and wherever you are. My name is Kiravaku, and I am your host and your void with the voice. Yeah, it's to um, um, yeah, I, I, I botched my opening. <laughs> um, welcome to the one shot run where I will play a game basically once. If you guys are interested more about this game, uh, you guys can write a comment in, uh, in the comment sections. Just call it end call. Or if you really want me to do things live, you can just say end call live. I will play the game live. End call. Usually, I would just do a very like off-life content like this kind of games. So I would just play one round of it and then let you guys like watch it and then we'll be done with it. This is like a short form content that then you guys will just become uh, be able to like watch this in a quicker fashion, like for breakfast or like lunch time while just watching this kind of things, you know, you know, and you know, and. After the patch update, we're resetting compatibility setting. This is just the audio. Yeah. Okay. All right. This game actually. Um. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. Like, what do you guys call this game? Uh. Let me introduce you this game called Blast Blue Entropy Effect. It's a side scroller. I, I know, like the most. I, I I shouldn't say side scroller first because usually people hear the word side scroller. But ew. Ew, Necro, ew. <laughs> but if you actually do like side scroller and fighting game, yes, side scroller slash fighting game slash rope like. Um, yes, this is technically uh, a very amazing game that created to like. So like, if I need to explain it in a very nutshell way, it's basically that. Because uh, there's so many things that I can uh, focus upon this game. That there's like um, there's a somewhat of a fighting game mechanic they managed to like cramp it in. Uh, it's not like actual PvP. This is like if you imagine like fighting game, get like a PvE sections. Yes. And yeah, I will like try it out and let you guys see it, but first I need to uh, I say I need to adjust the volume. I think the volume is good enough in the game. So uh, dialogue voice. Let's go for the Japanese one. <laughs> Why? Because I, I I'm a weeb. Let's go for the phenomenal voice, English. Um, oh, they actually have so much things, so much control, like separate control. You can have the system in Japanese, the character in Japanese or English. Like, and you can separate the everyone dialogue. Sometimes some people want like English system voice. You know, it sounds much more cooler. Sometimes, who knows? What different people have different like um taste, of course. Let's get in. Um, I played this game for quite a bit. Actually, I loved it. So I'm just going to uh, I I actually got most of the mechanic uh reel in, so I somewhat know what to do. But it's been a bit of a while. I want to do this one shot run about this game a long time ago. But uh, a few things happen, so uh, it kind of like drag on a bit. Uh, I might botch my first run, so I will be going for the one that I have the most confident with, I guess. Um, something like this. Mine upgrade. Ooh, unlock a slot. Ooh, I get more AP. Uh, this is this is a lot. 
Um, hold on a bit. Great. Prototype analyzer, fragmented mine. Yeah, I think I need to save some AP for this. Oh, did they? Did they really adjust that? Give them the harder screen, uh, bigger screen. But either way, um, yeah. So you have a stage select here, and then you can give yourself some handicap some extra difficulty or you can go for the hard mode you can uh create even like technically the game is going to be even harder but you the way you're doing it uh you just like add even more handicap to yourself um yeah i'm going to play hard but also the same time i'm not going to add any handicap because like i, I love difficulty but i need to <laughs> introduce the game so, as you guys are already familiar with like most of the character here Yes, you can create, uh, you can select and create them uh, as your characters hmm, Konoe actually, I somehow managed to like reach quite far using her But my, mine on the other hand uh, she's difficult to use. Noel is way too overpowered. Like, if anyone want to have like starting easy game, you you guys can try Noel. Noel is just way too overpowerful. I I don't know they did they nerf her or not, but yeah, she have like a very one long range she had very old power mobility skill and very high damage if you are good at dodging in it and stuff technically you are yeah you can see this she has so many combo built up later on it's just ridiculous. And this is the first one. <laughs> yeah, number 11. Um, one, she's green. Second, I'm suck of all Android. <laughs> but yeah, she is technically like the air juggler. It's a little bit harder to play when fighting bosses. Holy shit, that is a very good skill. I just know this. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, back then I didn't think there's a video. Uh, now they have like video stuff here. Um, it's actually pretty... When you make an enemy fall, restore MP. Oh, so she can just spam a skill non-stop if she get, keep getting killed. You know what? Uh, I'm just going to try not Noel, but I might have a harder time. You cannot team origin. Ah, so if I need to replace, I need to use other people to replace it. Uh, all right, good, good, good. So, oh, so just going to select both of you. Yeah, you can have, uh, the more you play, the more database you kind of like, because they are not real, they, they are just simulations. But every single run, you can see like uh, all the skill that I master for the characters, like uh, the roguelike run I choose to have master for the characters, and then the item that I choose for those characters. And you can already see like, they all the benefit they have going to share with this certain character I'm with right now. So, uh, the more you play, the more advantage you have. Like the long, the more point, the more uh, the further you progress, you can see the more point they get. Of course, you get the more of the um, uh, e r u what do you call it? <laughs> advantage you have for the next run. So I have both of their power in there. So I will be starting to starting point. I already have you. Uh, skill set with me. I already 
already forgot how to play this game. Oh no! Remember how to play? Yeah, her static attack is a little bit bland, but her legacy edge is ooh powerful. Calamity sword, some giant blade that fall from the bow. Yeah, there's so many skill that is revolving around the triangle. Triangle is basically your magic skill. Uh, depends on how you're going to click the combo. Uh, they have like lots of like different type of legacy, uh, deep, different type of skill that you can sort of, like shoot it out. Let's have a calamity sword. Yeah, calamity sword sounds good, but what is this normal attack? Even uh, the shooting process is interrupted, the mini blade will just be shoot and deal more damage. Hmm. I think having Calamity Sword is good. I forgot how to use Calamity Sword. Yeah, each time you progress into a stage, you can sort of like do a little bit of this and that. Um, tactic codex? No. Training detail? Yeah, completely. I have no idea what I do. But each time you progress into a stage, uh, there's a selection for you to choose. This is event space. It's basically, you can do something like this to gamble a little bit. Get some debuff, uh, but also gain some points and stuff. But I choose not to because I don't want my, my play to become like a little bit too um, difficult. Now, here's the thing you guys can see. There's a light electricity fire. Technically, there will be a light dark electricity fire and then like poison. Uh, there's a lot of like different elements for you guys to play with. Uh, depends on your build, you can play different kind of like um, build. I think the light personally I think, uh, is quite for me because they kind of like will shoot down stuff. And electricity, they can stun the shit out of you. So, depends on. Again, like different play through different characters. Uh, you have a, quite a bit of a few advantage. Fire is also pretty nice because fire is technically a long range if you have the buff for fire. But it's just a pure damage move. So, light, I remember, have some other like stunning stun skill into it. Ah, I managed to dodge one, but. Wait, how is my calamity sword work? Yeah, you, you, another thing is best you guys try to get more damage in the game. You can time your dodge into a perfect dodge. See? This is the skills that you can have. Um, I already have a legacy skill, like upon skill usage, it spawns the light. I technically grab this because I, I already got a uh, 
the the characters that I kind of like choose to sort of like mix together, they have a legacy skill for like the javelin. You can see like they have a support skill for it. So upon using your legacy, uh, now I'm going to use my legacy. Uh, again, like the character I mix them up with, they technically call like legacy characters. So if I can technically low key use that skill, pseudo use that skill or something like that. It's not their full power, but yeah. Upon using skill spawn to like spear. Yeah, this one's good. I have no idea what did I choose. Oh, healing. Good. Because I. Well, I did get hit by some unnecessary damage. So, yeah. And depends on. Even your healing sign, though. <laughs> Potential is basically the skill that I would uh, I would try to get. Ooh. Oh, this is how you use Clam Duke. Get Rocket! Ooh, I love that. So, Universal Skill Blade become larger, it can break super armor. This one is the. You can over exhaust the MP used. Over exhaust is actually kind of like a pretty decent skill. Uh, you can jump twice, and uh, we're knocked back. You can recover your stand. I think the bigger blade is better. This way, I can break people super armor easier, and I can increase my max at, uh, HP or decide at the event that I can RNG stuff, uh, or like get point, or get debuff, or get buff. It really depends, but I need more HP, I think. Feel more suitable. Yeah, her normal attack is actually pretty useless. Find the block this. Twenty percent. Ooh. Do I want to get blade? Yeah, the the blade is actually one of the elements. Uh, technically, blade is dark, I think, or physical like dark. But they do have a quite decent match up with mine. But I do have a lot of light, so I'm going to use the light the light again. You can see the other like uh, legacy buff that I have with my previous play. That is. You know what? Ooh. How did you manage to block? But again, like if you look into the bottom right, you can see my uh, kill combo, the skull slash, and uh, as long as I don't get hit the next round, I'm fine. Flash upon using Alexi generate flash to blind people. When your attack hits enemies, spawn light wave that deals damage. Um, summon radiance for five seconds while you're in range of the radiance. Oh, this one is pretty good. Oh yeah, also in the bottom like right, you can see like all the item I have that what kind of thing they support with. Exchange. 
change. I don't really have a lot of points, so I'm just getting prepared for the last blade. Legacy spawn a great stone that deal damage with each cut. Um, your attack hits the same enemy four times. Technically, my initial attack already hit people four times. If Ren, uh, well, I think it would have moved six damage. Oh, oh this is really good! You know what? I think this stage is boss Him too. <sighs> ah, some of the blade from all attack enemy round. Yeah, summon sword is pretty. It's basically my bread. If, I, if you really want to. It's my range attack. Because most of the attack is basically juggling the enemy. It's actually pretty important. Oh, there's also a good, decent like ice ability. Since I already got legend. So um, sometimes you, uh, you can, if you're lucky, you can find a skill that you can generate like ice around you. You can auto attack. So. Yeah, that's one. I think it's better than my summon radiance with the ice spike since it's again it's a legendary. <laughs> Why don't I use that? Um, you, you know when you see it, ah, that's the thing. They are technically homing missile, so it helps you kill a lot of things that you didn't expect to see. Sometimes. Um, the things will get very hectic later on in the game. Perfectly. 
um, after each attack you can immediately press fall trust the blade downward oh Corsair Saber attack enemy along the path Use the event this time. Let's see what kind of event I have. I use point to get buff. Yeah, pretty good. Now I get a three point combo vulnerabilities, legacy recovery, then uh, to stun the shit out of you. Hmm. Nice. You know what? I already have an ice skill, so let's follow the theme. Get ice and light. Oh, 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 such a crap ass space and then want me to do this kind of thing oh this is to increase my ice spike skill um this is new attack deals of cold costume slowdown Slow is good, but large and do more damage is look good. What? There's a new skill. Let's get it. The more the more skill I catalog, like the more point I get, uh, the, more, the more AP I get. You kind of like already see that in the beginning. Um, I don't have money to do this change again, so let's just. Give my character some rest. Yep, you. Let's get a advance. I see. Ooh. Okay, that fight is going to be the death of me. Larger and more damage. Prioritize non cold enemy. More damage. Um, let's get a potential. More skill, more power. Ooh, possess saber or luminous. 
Slave. Holy shit, that's the name. <laughs> Attack enemy along the path marked on the mark enemy gets attacked by a loss of blade. That is like a wide AoE damage. I think the universal <laughs> If I can't let like, you use more plates. Yes! Yes! More plate, more power. Let's go to the event. Campbell again. Minus two health mixtures. I don't have health mixtures. Wait, I have? Oh, I got, I got it. Well, I just use up all my emergency healing for money. So, yeah, I don't think this run is going to be good. Oh, ow! Okay, this girl is a boss killer! <laughs> There's so many armor breaking skills she has. Never have enough ice. Never have enough ice skill. Trust me. Generating ice spike, you generate three more. More ice spike, more power. <laughs> yeah, I guess this is a. Uh, I don't know if jinxed it, but it's kind of like a pretty good run. I think down is actually really better because I can dodge it. Perfect clear. I can see edge, open portal, uh, mini plate summons. Summon mini plate at an enemy. Yeah, this is the state. Again, ice upgrade. Good 
Ah shit, I got hit. I almost get a perfect clear! Ah! Ooh. When I inflict more than five enemy I inflict it with cold. Ah, both is very good in a frost burst. More single targets. <laughs> More buff. Well, technically, I can erase uh cleanse by debuff at the end of the game. So, we uh, will reward MP recovery low. Wait, technically. Yeah, technically, every single time I get a kill, I get like. Yeah, the less recovery one is just going to be a little bit annoying. But, if I keep getting like. Uh, clear, Things would be good. Oh, Sotito. Sotitio. Oh, Sotitio. Sotitio. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, let's call it Sotitio. But yeah, this, this is the general. Okay. Um, yeah, this is the exchange, basically the shop. I can get a buy recovery, buy potential, remove one random debuff. Good. Ah, it didn't remove like the thing. Fast kill, MP recovery. Okay, this one's good. Uh, let's get a potential. Also, attack enemy along the path. That is actually very good. I want the Legacy Edge, but. Yeah, this one. I have enough point to. Increase my health even more, so I get 192% health. So yeah, you guys can see like this game is actually a bit of fun, especially when you got like good combo running. Sometimes you can't hit the air, so the ice spike is always the best one you can have because they, they, they just like attack anyone near you. So it's a very good one. Let's try to erase our random debuff. Yes. Tactic white. Tactic is basically the, the ice spike thingy. So uh, I can speed run reward. Oh. It's a buff and then. Potential. Do I have enough to get another potential? Yes. Uh, mini blade. Shoot at enemy. Ooh, three dash in a row. It's pretty good for dodging. But I want, I want to try this. This is basically uh, spam. Spam happy skill, so you can see this. Ooh. 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 So is it is it even more combo, basically? I think it's a boss fight. Oh no, this guy. Ooh. 
got hit once and then like 400 health just gone. Uh, that scared crap out of me. <laughs> um, you have dodge invincibility frame throughout the whole process. This is kind of a good skill, but I have so many other skills I didn't think I should have that one more. Just shoot more brain. Yeah, this this game really have a lot of fighting game vibe. Oh uh, well, it's originate a uh, fighting game in the first place, so it have a lot of like fighting game like combo vibe and a road like at the same time. This is why I like this game so much. Boom. Spike hits an enemy non cold, generate three more ice spike. Holy shit, this skill! This is red. Red one is the super unique one. Wow. Alright. Tactic extensions basically upgrade your skill. Uh, sometimes you get like white skill, so this is kind of like something. Awesome. Clear. I didn't get hit. Ooh, I just got hot at from it. And now two more like spear. Good. Oh, this one. Nah, it just increased the damage. It didn't increase the cold stat. Ooh. That one was intense. Ooh, two debuff for no tactic extension. is this flat. I, I, the ice also is a flat out more damage too and uh, because I generate one more ice spike but I think the light spear is better because it, it get one more additional ice uh, two more lands and then uh, basically also add like flat damage up and I've been neglecting my blade for quite a while let's try to get it Perfect clear again. Oh, I'm getting more better and better. Blade um, Storm cut enemy in larger range. Seek or uh, Blade Storm seek horizontally to do damage. Pose enemy. Pose enemy, of course. Um, I don't need to rest because I got combo to get more stuff. 
gamble. <laughs> I don't have HP mixtures. Um, just get one more HP mixtures. So I get like one emergency heal at least. skill I need. If I can add one skill please. Perfect run. so fast <laughs> you can jump reset attack limit of your universal app on attack ah while holding three large blade will fall above instead do I need this do I finally get some Corsair Saber? You know, Corsair Saber. More options for me. Ooh, Corsair Saber is actually using Kick. So this is like a final boss. If one run, if you just like being efficient, uh, should be around like... ...40ish minute. But I'm trying to like, play around it and then like, you know like... ...chat a little bit of stuff, so yeah. Why would I want to get a random debuff using my money? Who would want to do that? 
Okay, let's try here. Fun in this stage. This stage actually is a little bit. I have what they call quite the combo. Usually there's a gate, there's a fight. Ooh, max HP. Uh, max NP. Oh, fighting you again, right? Um, this one usually out here. Tag it! Oh, shit, I got it. Ah, my combo! It's your fault! <laughs> just look at how many plates that just keep shooting out. Uh, I'm still late. Uh, I, I like her, but back then I I do not know how to play her. At first I thought like she was weak. Now, ooh. But I got hit, my combo is gone. Not to get hit. I love my combo, man. More combo, more money. You shoot up and down. Yeah, I think it's also because of ice spike. With my blade, I just shoot so many blade out in just one go. I can break armor. Like, super easy. Ah, oh, this is final boss. And remember, I still can fight one more boss. So let's go around the map a little bit. Or I can go down, and I can go up. 
are here. So it's basically useless and it's a trap. I lost my combo. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very good with traversing that hard. Lost my combo. And I got quite a lot of exchange point. I should go back and get more. Let's see like anything I can buy to get a extra edge. Ooh, why don't you it's rare to see you actually? <laughs> shit, I was like, I had too much fun to shoot the shit out of him. Universal blade getting larger. <laughs> my blade is just. <laughs> oh, my attack is very ridiculous right now. You go in and buy everything. Who doesn't want this? It's no more play. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I think I'm very old power right now. <laughs> Can't even see the amount of blade I have if I didn't have like didn't hit the wall. Okay, it's time. It's time to fight some Susan. Actually, what is happening with that? Oh, nothing happening with that. So he's gonna fight Susan on here. Did I dodge it? Yes, I dodge it. Not that one. Oh shit, I did How do you how do you again? I forgot. Ah. Control. I 
building up the skill. Ooh, that scared the shit out of me. Of course, this is my legacy skill. Who doesn't want this as your legacy skill? Automatically generate and fight. Yeah, Ice Spike is still very OP for me. <laughs> that, in my personal preference, if you guys manage to get like uh, Ice Spike, just use Ice Spike, okay? Sorry that my camera ran out of battery for <laughs> uh, for a bit on the, on the boss fight. I have no idea why. And it ran out of battery again. Um, it's plug. It just keep running out of battery for some reason. Um, by the way, yeah, this... For like, how should I end this? This is a very fun game. If you like road, like if you like fighting game, if you like side scroll, all this thing together, combine into one thing. This is what you have. I don't have to sell you guys more. The more you, uh, since you already watched me play, this is already like boil your bloods. Want to like, oh, I want to go play a little bit of this game. Uh, yeah, it's it's actually quite cheap too. So you guys can get a uh, um, not cheap. It's more like you know affordable. Okay, it's affordable, and then you have quite a lot of like different characters you can play with. Uh, there's a lot of like very good core loop of things over here. Like I say, the more you play, the more character you can share your power with, and then you can also go to here, watch the story. Uh, you can unlock story part. Uh, every single time you do a run, you can come here to unlock the story part, and then you can go up to the surface. Have some chat with the NPC in this place. Also, you can go here. Yes, Sky Eyes. Technically, Sky Net. But yeah. Um. So you can play something called Mind Challenge. Uh, if you play Mind Challenge, means like every single time. Uh, remember when I say like every single time you can have like a. Uh. Characters or like if finish, you finish your simulation, you have your character data saved. You can use that save data of your character to do a special boss run. So you do have to. This means like you have a lot of like different type of play you can have on this game. Um, I'm not going to show you this part because like I'm already um, overdued with my one shot run. Um, yeah, having having a like. One hour already is a little bit too much. So yeah. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, stay healthy. Stay safe. Until next time. Stay tuned on the next stream. Bye bye. Keep it going.